Let's talk about tea. Hot water, drop in the tea bag, it's done. It's great, right? Well, maybe you think you know what a great cup of tea is, but we need an expert. Talk about experts joining us now, Stephen Twining of The Twining's Tea Empire. This is a 300 year old empire and you're the 10th generation, Stephen. I am indeed, yes, very proud to be the 10th generation and carry the tradition forward. So when each person is born in your family, is it pretty much a slam dunk that they're going into the tea business? No, not at all. Actually, the family tradition is that you have to, the next generation has to volunteer because they've got to inherit not only the, uh, the love of tea, but the passion for doing it well. That's what it's all about. And so, so you clearly have a passion. This is a, here's a question a lot of people wonder. What happens when you're at a friend's house and they serve you tea and it's not twinings? Can you tell instantly, like the first uh, sip? You pretty much, yes. Uh, so I then I have to go into very polite mode. <laughs> what does that look like? You're, you're a polite guy anyway. Well, yes, but uh, yes, obviously I uh, it's, would it's talk about lovely. everything else but the tea. Yes, yes, that sort of thing. Yes, okay. I might not actually say it's lovely. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, besides that, what do you think is the worst tea faux pas someone could commit around you? It's when, I see this all the time, people add the water onto the tea bag and then the spoon comes out and they try mashing it or they jiggle it with the string because they think that's going to make it quicker. Yeah. You've got to let the tea brew. So these herbal teas need a full four minutes and then they'll reward you with the lovely flavours. I always mash it with the spoon. I thought that's how you got the most out of the tea bag. No, Wrong. no, no. It's not necessary. In fact, if you did it in a teapot, you wouldn't do that, would you? You just let it be. And for thousands of years, we did it that way, and it was absolutely perfect. And it's only because we've got strings and we can see it that we think we can hurry it, but we can't. No. If you if you didn't give it the four minutes, the the, the buttermint, which is a beautiful peppermint-based drink, but on top of which we've added vanilla, so you get this really creamy texture in your mouth. Absolutely superb. But you wouldn't get that in 30 seconds. You've got to give it four minutes. The buttermint is good. Photographer Phil loves your buttermint tea. What What's your favorite? Because you drink nine cups a day. Is it always the same kind or do you like vary it up? I, the, the, the beauty of tea to me is all the, 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 the variants, where they come from, the ingredients being used. So right now I would be brewing up a, a, a berry fusion. We're talking cherries and blueberries, a little bit of licorice root in there and some other leaves. Absolutely delicious. The sweetness gives me a little bit of a pep up. But I started my day with an English breakfast. Uh, the buttermint fits in after dinner because uh, being all naturally caffeine free, you can have it before bedtime. Uh, and if I needed refreshment, I might reach for the lemon delight. So yeah, it's all about what do I feel like right now. Stephen Twining of the Twining's Tea Empire, thank you so much for being here. And do not mash things with a spoon. That's one of the things we've gleaned out of this. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're back after.